a lot of times during the pre-spawn, whether you're fishing, say, a transition bank from rock to pea gravel, and it's a 45 degree bank, if you find fish on that, during the pre-spawn, you are gonna be able to pattern it. And what I mean by that is anywhere you go in the lake, sometimes it'll be the first couple points at the mouth of a creek. And if you start catching fish on those, you can go to the other side of the lake and do the same thing. So during the pre-spawn, they will set up in a certain depth or a certain type of stru structure, and you'll be able to pattern that. But the biggest thing that I can tell you is during the pre-spawn, those fish are in transition. They're always moving. They're on the move. You cannot be afraid to hit the reset button. And what I mean by that is every single day is a new day. When I mean you create a pattern, that pattern may only be good for an hour or half a day, the whole day. Could be good for the week, but typically during the pre-spawn pre earlier in the year, it's gonna be day to day. Every single day is gonna be different. And when you go out that next day, hit the reset button and just go fishing. I've had some of my best tournaments during the pre-spawn where you completely throw practice out of the window. And one of the examples I can give you that is actually the first, or one of the college tournaments that actually won me and my partner Tyler all, we won in Georgetown at Winya Bay. It was a Bassmaster um, Eastern qualifier. We found some really good fish. It was pre-spawn, it was, it was March and April time of year, and the fish were starting to set up in deep channel swings, channel swings and we were flipping lay down trees. That's what we were doing. We were flipping jigs and stuff in these deep channel swings, catching those fish, and then we we're actually fishing ditch mouths, and that was our game plan. Like we felt strong about it. We were gonna fish deep wood and channel swings the entire tournament. That's what we were going to do. And day one of the tournament, we blast off, we run to our area, we're fishing about hour, two hours in. We're sitting on a goose egg. We're on zero. And I'm like, man, you know, we're the locals. We're from South Carolina. We should know this area. We should be catching fish, but something changed. I don't know what it was, what the weather was but we were still, we were hitting our pattern hard and it wasn't panning out. And all of a sudden we're fishing a ditch mouth, fishing a ditch mouth. And this is just when you kind of know it's your time. We hear one blow up in the middle of the river. And I was like, ah, whatever, mull it. Cause you know, we were fishing when y'all bay connected to the ocean. I'm like, who cares? We're not gonna pay attention to that. We're gonna stick to our pattern. That was just me being hard headed and who I am. And we're keep flipping, flipping the ditch mouth, flipping the ditch mouth. And we had like three rods on deck and then another one blows up and I was like ah that's probably still a mullet weird those in the same area and we keep flipping and about two more minutes go by and then here two of them blow up I'm like okay that cannot be a coincidence something's got to be going on and I look at my deck I've got a floating worm tied on uh, a jig a Texas rig and a DT6 and I was like what, what am I gonna do? I grab that floating worm, I take it off, and I put a fluke on. This is pre-spawn, I wasn't planning on doing this, and I throw it out there in the middle of the, middle of the river, and as soon as it hits the water, they come blowing up on it. And I'm like, oh my God. They, they changed that much, and one day they moved from those deep channel swings in that timber to they were just out in the middle of the river. They were actually on a sand drop, there was current, and I started ravaging through the boat, because I, I had a fluke on a spinner, the only thing I had. And I looked through my entire boat and all I could find was a box of jerk baits. I didn't have anything else. And that, is, we switched to a jerk bait and needless to say, we just, we put our foot on the gas on them from there on. We caught 13 pounds the first day, which isn't crazy, but it was when y'all, we took the lead, 13 pounds day two. And then the last day we went in there and stuck to them, had a change. They migrated a little bit, we moved with them. They actually got closer to some lay down trees, but having that change, and we caught 20 pounds on the final day and blew the tournament out. But if I would have stuck to our pattern and not hit that reset button, we would have completely not had a chance. And another time where we just, you're going fishing and you stick to your pattern was at St. John's River, the first year I qualified for the lead series. Um, it was the toughest practice I've ever had. I had seven bites in three days of practice. And all I was gonna go do was go look at spawners in the springs. That's just when you go to Florida, you think that's gonna be the deal. And I went and did that day one. Um, I caught three fish really quick and I was like, man, I'm, I don't have anything to do. Let's just we'll take a deep breath and go do something different. Hit that reset button. And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run of the mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water and become a better angler.
quickly.